It's been about 10, 10, 15 minutes. Just starting the video. The whole apartment is flooded. Welcome to the day in our lives. We had to empty our kitchen because we're getting it completely renovated as per the gas leak that we had a year and a half ago. All of our glasses, all the random shit that we had in drawers. And there's Bo helping. <laughs> Time for our mukbang shot. Chicken tacos. And then we got some salsas. And ready, 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 ready. I think this is Thomas's favorite part. Yeah. Elotes. Oh, we asked for two of them. We did. Okay, so it's the day after, and they're finally bringing in new cabinets. And that's what it looks like. We had to <laughs> go through a whole day without a whole kitchen. And uh, we were basically just ordering in for dinner, last night, breakfast this morning, and we lunch. no sink. Yep, we had no sink. So we, if we used anything, we didn't even, we were supposed to clean them in the sink, but we didn't even do that. We just have our drinks from like before there because we didn't even want to, I don't know. So we were supposed to come in. Uh, <laughs> they're supposed to come in this morning. It's now 4.30 and they're just starting. Not yeah. this one, but I need a f***ing drink. <laughs> mm. We got almost an inch of water. Yeah, but it's not even apartment. level, so there's more towards where the kitchen is. It's all coming from the kitchen. Crazy. 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 Way of clearing everything out. Again, I'm on my phone because I don't know where my camera is. They're clearing everything out now. He even said it. It was on our phone. And if we haven't, if there's gonna be, there's definitely gonna be damage on this floor. We got a bottle of gin that we're gonna swallow after all of this, but this. Apparently it's concrete underground, which means if it gets wet, and if it stays wet, there's going to be mold. And since these were built in the 70s, early 70s, there could be lead poisoning, asbestos, everything. And you can see how weak they are. Like, you can see that wobbling, it's squishing. Which means there's definitely water under there, and there could be more water. Oh, Oh, Bob, you're working hard. Mm -hmm. Who, me? Oh, Pete. Oh, how are you holding up? Are you okay? You okay? She's just being really cautious. You want to get down? Oh, she doesn't even want to be here. Oh, it's okay. Traumatized? Baby. Oh, now she's going in there to sleep. She's over it. Mommy's over it too, baby boo. This is the aftermath. Everything's dry. They left us here with a mop and a fan. They knew they renovated the kitchens, yes, but it was a complete rush job because they said they were supposed to be here at 10 in the morning. They got here at 4.45 p.m. Uh, they were speaking Spanish, which I speak. I can understand it. Um, they, we were the last apartment that they were fixing. I guess they look like they were cleaning, but everything is fucked. The floor. It's probably even bother sweeping that shit up. 
Yeah, we thought they were going to fix that. They didn't even fix it. Let's see, is this wet? No, just the just the one drawer. Is it wet in here? No. Hmm? Oh, maybe they just. But still, the like, floors are fucked up. Nope. I can't clean anything. I don't leave it as is. It's better for the insurance people. Right After they flooded everything, they put up the rest of these cabinets over here, and you can see. They basically ripped a hole. <laughs> they didn't even care. I don't even have to. It's. I don't even have to explain it to you. You can see it right there. <laughs> I don't know what else I can say. And then over here, same thing. Like obviously, there's going to be like a mess after there's construction. But and the fact that they left this wet. Yeah, I mean, this could be damaged already, because this is where the water was coming from. This has, uh, you know, considering we have, we've been through two years without gas, a stove or an oven, we finally got it back the day of Thanksgiving this year. Not only did we just get our cabinets put in after having a hole in the wall for more than a year and a half, um, we were definitely ready to move into our one bedroom now. Okay, update. We've been through it. <laughs> Looking a little better. Did laundry. More laundry, and then this is what the kitchen finally looks like. So, stove, and go. These are the cabinets. Stuff right here, bitters right there. We broke two of these things, so now we're just gonna just save them for decorative reasons, I guess. And then our spice rack. Um, so this is where we have like all the like refill stuff and then just the rest of the spices. I want to buy a, I want to buy a spice rack for the rest of these. Maybe get it like have like a kitchen tour of what the kitchen finally looks like. Um, it's going to be interesting because this is not at all what I expected for like <laughs> a refurbishing video. We went through all of that so at least it's interesting for you guys. <laughs> and, and then our pantry. Where are we? <laughs> Boom, and then just useless. Like we don't even need those. I, I don't know why why they gave us four huge ones. Like who is that tall? I, I don't even know who, who that who, like what person is that tall. And then we put um cat treats, the corks, which we're gonna definitely DIY something out of those, and then our dish towels. So yeah. This is basically the entryway. We're finally putting stuff back in the closets. Um, and we finally have a walkway. Yeah, so we basically, I took the shoe rack that I had and then just took the top of it <laughs> to put more space on here because we have so much bathroom stuff. So this is how I have a couch. There's four shelves. I can't even reach it. And I'm using my step stool, mind you, and I'm on my tippy toes. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs> That's so racist. It ain't easy being small. Hey. You're cute.